Where are all of the children? Where are all of the unaccompanied minors that have poured over our borders since 2015? I want to bring this back into your attention because it is so urgent we keep an eye on this with everything happening, everything happening around our country with uh, just everything. I'm just going to leave it at that. I want to get back on track about these kids because 2015? We're in our ninth, tenth year? The New York Times actually released a treasure trove of information, yes, the New York Times, about what's happening to these kids. First of all, when uh, an un more than ever uh, in the Biden administration have unaccompanied minors come over our borders. The Biden administration, let me remind you, because we've spoken about it here before in the Warriors, and you have to subscribe. That's why I want everybody to subscribe to this channel, share this channel, talk about it, do whatever it takes because we need the information out there. I think this is, a, I don't think, this is a tremendous crime. The Biden administration themselves, a little over a year ago, admitted 85,000 children were lost, unaccounted for. Now they played, you know, with the words and mixed them up because that's the narrative. Things get changed around, meanings of words and things like that. But when a child comes unaccompanied and during the Biden administration, more unaccompanied children have come over our borders than ever before in our history in the United States. Um, they admit it last April, 2023. Well, we lost track of them. There's been no follow-up. I keep asking. That's 13 months. They admit it. They admit it. What usually happens is the child is released to a family member, a parent, a guardian, some sort of relative, a brother, a sister. We have a current report of 24,000 children. Remember, whatever the number released is, it's got to be higher, right? The stats are never accurate, but for argument's sake, we'll use what's floating around out there. 24,000 children have been released to a non-relative. Now, when I pressed and pressed and asked uh, certain people last year, where, what, what do you mean? Where are these 85,000 children? Bear in mind the number's higher. Well, we did the follow-up call. This came directly uh, from D.C. We did the follow-up call that is required one month later. We couldn't find. We, could, we had no answer. We couldn't find the kids. We don't know where they are. End of story. Not end of story here on the Warriors. Now we have a report, 24,000 released. What is going on? I have spoken before about the NGOs working on these borders. Criminal, making millions upon millions of dollars. Your taxes, my taxes from the government. Processing people, not helping them, not giving them relief, not placing them properly. You know and I know, I'm fed up. So we have protesters in the streets and we have people fighting about pronouns and we have this and we have that going on. Keep, keep your eye on this one because these children are ending up in sex trafficking, labor trafficking, who knows what in addition to those horrors. We also know we have current reports that they are working in dangerous situations, meatpacking plants, automotive industries, farming, uh, construction, why is nobody talking about this? These are human rights abuses. I don't care these children came over the border uh, unaccompanied. They are still children. And what I want you to um, keep in mind as we talk about this is that these children, I'm, I'm reading these stats. I mean, I'm looking at this right now. 37,088 unaccompanied alien children were released to an unrelated sponsor. 24,000, this is 2015, it started up until uh, May of 2023. 24,253 were released during the Biden presidency so far, uh, up to May 2023. The criminal cartels are doing this. They're bringing these unaccompanied minors into the re into our country. We understand they're ending up in horror stories of trafficking. Um, the Office of Refugee Resettlement is supposed to be taking each unaccompanied child and putting them with a sponsor in America, and it's not happening. 
they're just letting these kids go. From what I've heard, my sources, cars are pulling up. They're letting 10, 12, 20 kids get in a truck with, with well, who are these people? We're not allowed to ask. We're not allowed to know. But the critical thing here I want you to keep in mind, why am I talking about this? First of all, it's a human rights abuse. It is disgusting that this is allowed to go on, that this is happening right under our noses, that nobody's talking about it because we're sidetracked now with the other issues. And I want you to keep in mind, while all of this is going on, our precious kids are watching all of this. They're taking it in because I have parents, grandparents say it, not really the grandparents actually, it's the parents more than grand. A lot of grandparents come to me, they're very concerned about these issues. They're seeing it or perhaps, you know, they're not working so they have more time, they can research, they can look at Lynn's Warriors. Um, that their child is not protecting that grandchild. So we have a lot of work to do. But our kids notice and pick up on everything. We have May is Mental Health Awareness Month. We have more kids than ever. One in six will encounter, will encounter something of a mental disorder in the coming year. Anxiety, depression, isolation, addictions of the internet, my goodness, drugs, alcohol, we don't know. We are failing and we're failing miserably. And now we have all these other kids. Can you imagine saying we lost 85,000 kids? They put it right in, they put it right in our faces and then it, it just goes away. People should be taking to the streets. Our Congress, our 118th Congress should be addressing this, pounding away at it every single day. And they're not. And this Congress, we have been very busy today uh, at the Warriors in meetings and also as we come almost to the end of this congressional session, we have to get bills in and legislation and things on the budget. We are pushing so hard for the Kids Online Safety Act. No brainer. At minimal, it's some guardrails to protect kids online. It addresses all kids, okay? Every type of child. There was just a discussion about amending the language a little bit. The language was amended. We've included LGBTQ because we had all children and that specific sentence had to be inserted. Okay, well, we mean all children. We'll insert it. We want the bill passed. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who happens to represent me here in New York, is failing on this to bring this important legislation to a vote bipartisan protecting kids. Now, there is a glimmer of good news I want to share, and that is the Report Act. The Report Act was, was just passed and signed into law. This is the first child protection law that will hold big tech platforms accountable that they must report their CSAM, child sexual abuse material, to the National Center on Missing and Exploited Children in D.C. It's a start. It's a glimmer. If we can get the Report Act passed, we can get Kids Online Safety Act passed. We can get the Earn It Act passed, holding big tech accountable. What the heck is going on? But I urge you, I'm frightened. You should be too. Where are all these kids pouring over the borders? Where are they? What are they doing? Who's got them? We know one thing for sure. Sex trafficking is involved. Labor trafficking is involved. A lot of bad stuff. If you know of anything or see of anything, you are to call 911 immediately. The next thing you are to do is contact. There's different things you can do. You can contact um, NCMEC, N-C-M-E-C, and that would be the National Center on Missing and Exploited Children. You can contact the Warriors. You've got to take action. You've got to take action. I can't tell you how many people have said to me over the years, Mm, I thought maybe that child was trafficked. It, something in my gut told me it wasn't right, but I, I didn't do anything and I've had guilt ever since. So let's call upon, I, I want to go back to really calling out and calling upon. I don't care how busy everybody is in Washington or in my state capital, Albany. Uh, we have been signing on to bills for Sacramento, for California today. Um, certainly for Albany, we have a lobby day next week where we all go up uh, a couple of lobby days. Uh, for our Sex Trade Survivors Justice and Equality Act here in New York, and also 
for kids, kids online safety. A lot's going on. It is 2024. I'm going to tell you, you can no longer sit on the sidelines. It is time in our country. Everybody can and must do something. Start asking, where are all these kids that have come over our borders? Where are they? Who's got them? What are they doing? Start questioning. Ask questions. Question more. Community creates change. Thank you for always listening, donating, volunteering, uh, retweeting, Facebooking, whatever you're all doing, your warriors out there. Because if we don't come together at this grassroots community level, we are not going to get the work done. I am committed to work on legislation and all the red tape and put my face in front of everybody. But I need you on the other side. If we have sign-ons, check my Twitter account at Lynn's Warriors or Facebook or Instagram, or, or go to our website, lindswarriors.org. Find something where you can add your name. That is doing something. That is a warrior move. Join us, but start asking, where are all these unaccompanied minors? To talk about over 500,000 since 215. Remember, the numbers are always higher than the stats were given. Start questioning. Start protecting your kids. Start talking to them open and honestly about all these issues so they don't hear things online or you know, from other people, the incorrect facts. But remember each and every day, while all this is going on and exploding around us, make a commitment, go out and be a warrior.